The purpose of this video is to show proper technique for MS Media preparation when using a gelling agent. We will be preparing 400 milliliters of MS Media. When weighing chemicals, make sure to use a weigh boat or weighing paper to protect the balance. Also, clean and tear balance before and after using. Start by measuring out the correct amounts of chemicals needed for the MS mixture. Continue to measure each of the chemicals needed, such as sucrose and agar. Measure out 80% of total volume using tissue culture grade water or distilled water. Add a stir bar to the container and begin to slowly stir the water in the container. Make sure the container can hold at least 1.5 times the total volume needed. Slowly begin adding the previously weighed dry chemicals to the water in the container, making sure each chemical is completely dissolved. Add the liquid component vitamin stock at this time. Having previously prepared stock solutions and hormones will help out during this step. Calculate the amount of growth regulators to add based on the stock solution prepared. Add additional tissue grade water to bring the media to the final volume. While stirring, bring the mixture to the desired pH using acid and base solutions provided. In this case, our solution is slightly acidic, so we will be using NaOH to raise the solution to the 5.7 pH desired. Add the previously weighed agar to the autoclave jar. The agar will not completely dissolve in the media solution at this time. Wrap the lid of the autoclave jar with tin foil. Leave the jar lid slightly open during autoclave process. To avoid error, remember to label the media with the correct date, name of the media, and the name of people making the media. Place the jar with the media solution into the autoclave machine. Remember to get a tight seal on the autoclave door before process starts. When removing the jar from the autoclave, make sure to use heat resistant gloves. Once the jar is cooled to about 60 degrees Celsius, you will be able to distribute the agar solution to desired petri dishes. At this point, the media can become contaminated, so proper sterile technique should be used. Use gloves, and if you do not have a hood, a mask should be worn. The method demonstrated by this lab assistant is good sterile technique and helps fill the petri dishes rapidly.